The long-awaited judgment on the legal tussle between Magnus Abe's faction and the Tonye Coles faction of the River State All Progressives Congress, APC, where the Magnus Abe's faction is seeking the Supreme Court declaration that his faction was right in the conduct of the direct governorship primaries it conducted, was delivered Monday. The Supreme Court dismisses the suit for lacking in merit. The panel of justices led by Justice Ibrahim Muhammad says the application filed by Magnus Abbey to amend the notice of appeal is null and void. The application which came from Abbey's counsel Henry Benlo at the resumption of the hearing prayed for the leave of court to amend the notice of appeal on the grounds that he omitted some names of people who ought to be joined as respondents in the suit. Benlo tells the court that he had already filed the amended notice of appeal and urged the court to give an order deeming the amended notice as properly filed and served. However, in a unanimous judgment, the court says that the amendment is in gross violation of Order 2, Rule 8 of the Supreme Court rules, noting that failure to state the correct title and parties as it was in the trial court and the Court of Appeal rendered the notice of appeal incompetent and it cannot be amended. Justice Muhammad throws out the appeal for lacking in merit. Counsel to both parties speak to journalists after the judgment. Say that the appeal was academic, was not correct. Unfortunately, uh, in the process of preparing notice of appeal, which is the soul of the appeal, they decided in their wisdom to omit names of parties who were affected by that judgment and then select some names on their own. And by authority that we know, and which we cited before the allyships and which they have agreed with us, once you file a notice of appeal, which does not contain the names of parties and the titles of case from the trial court to court of appeal, in the Supreme Court, with the number of persons you like, then that notice of appeal is fundamentally defective and cannot activate the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court to hear your matter. So the preliminary issues we raised this morning, which the Supreme Court had agreed with us, is that they have no competent appeal for which their complaint uh, against the judgment of the Court Division of the Court of Appeal can be ventilated. The Supreme Court has just given a ruling wherein it uh, struck out the appeal number SC 197 stroke 2019. Magnus Nge Abbey, Senator Magnus Nge Abbey and others against uh, INEC and others. The implication of this is that we have lost an opportunity of having the court pronounce on the authenticity of the direct primary election conducted in River States. The judgment on declaration of legality of governorship primaries election is one of the three appeals before the APS court. Joseph Kadri, ITV News, Abuja.